Hey, uh, so Team Tila, we use a lot of pepper in this house, and I just want to show you how chefs deal with pepper in the house. I hate these things. I hate these little BS little things that make you think you're chefy, and I really hate these things because I don't know how old the pepper is. So um, come closer, and let me show you how chefs deal with pepper. We buy it in bulk because it's really, really cheap, first of all. And then uh, you want your, your spices to be extremely aromatic. So we, po we toast them in a dry pan, and then um, I basically... Toast them until I can smell them, right? You don't want to scorch them. So, uh, yes, this is an aggressive amount of heat, but I'm always keeping that moving, all right? So, so this went into there. Now it's toasting. That's exactly where I want it to be. And every good chef needs a spice grinder. So you take your pepper into the spice grinder. And uh, don't use your fingers at home. Uh, <laughs> I have Teflon fingers, so it's okay for me to do that but I don't want you to do that. So you take your pepper, throw that into the spice grinder. Any whole spice should be toasted before, before used. And then uh, this will be a very unpleasant sound, but it's a necessary one. And I'm gonna do this in pulses every second until I get a nice, fine spice. You like that, how I'm playing with it? And then I might give this a little tap. And uh, watch how I unload this thing. I'm actually gonna tip it upside down. So I catch all my pepper. The next problem you're going to have is uh, these, spi these blade grinders, although amazing, don't really sort or grind to the exact um, you know, spice level or sizing. So that's what parchment paper is for. So parchment paper right into basically my sieve. And sieves come in many, many different sizes. I want the, la the large whole sieve. Okay. So sieve back over the pan. Actually, I'll come closer to you. And then uh, par everyone needs parchment paper in their house. So we're going we're gonna to hold by parchment, dump into the sieve, and I'm basically sizing the pepper I want. And this sieve is the perfect size for me. Okay, so what I'll do is just shake this back. And these very large ones I can actually separate and use for the, what we call a cracked pepper crusting if I wanted to. But this to me is actually perfect now for seasoning uh, everything. So again, if I wanted to go finer, I could go into this sieve. If I wanted to go super fine, I'd go into that sieve. So um, there you have it. I thought that would be a really cool pro tip for you to take home. Um, I'll see you soon. If you have any comments or questions, post them down below, and I'll see you later. Bye. Hachoo! No, I'm kidding.